Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at this 20 watt multifunction portable crank generator. All right, thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to show you this little uh, multifunction 20 watt portable crank generator. Um, there were some reasons behind why I bought this. I have alternative power sources, I have solar, I have generator. You know, I'm pretty well set for that. But I thought this would be something that was very interesting to the channel. And also, it reminds me of, I think they were called G7, G77s? The military crank generators, anyway. They were kind of heavy. Um, years ago, I saw one in a store, and I kicked myself still for not buying it. Um, they were kind of big, and they were weird. You kind of sat facing forward and cranked like this. And you sat on it like a bicycle, but the seat was almost like an ironing board that folded out. Kind of neat. Um, I believe they were in use for um, radio gear, mainly powering radio gear. It's kind of heavy, but it was still man portable, so it was kind of neat, and I never got to buy one. And when I finally decided to go buy one, they were three, four hundred dollars because they were collectibles. And really, I want something that's going to work as well as being a collectible. So I saw this and I said, well, it's a compromise, but it's kind of cool. So um, it's a hand crank generator. It's got a pretty decent price point on it. Um, they're on sale right now, and I'll put the, the link down in the description, for 57% off, around 30 bucks. Really not bad. Um, they're a really nice unit. My only complaint would be that, again, everything is in Chinese. This is from Banggood. Goso Technology, Songshuang City, and so is the labeling. <laughs> so eventually what I think I'm going to do is get out my label maker and uh, put information in English for the different voltages and stuff. Now this is multi-voltage. You can do it. It has a voltage selector on it, so you can do different voltages. You've got a, a let me move in close here, a 3, a 5, I believe that's a, a 6, 9, 12, and a 15 volt. I also found that messing around with my uh, multimeter, that when charging a 12 volt battery, you can put it all the way to 15. You're never going to get there unless you have perfect, you know, cranking ability. It's close enough. Another thing to note, and I believe that's what this says in Chinese here, because I just see USB, but there's a little attention symbol there. When you are charging via the USB ports, make sure you always have this thing in 5 volts or you'll damage your, your equipment. Um, you could accidentally have it on three, you could accidentally have it on six, you want it on five. Um, you can charge pretty much anything through all these ports at these different voltages. So let's say you have a uh, battery charger for a 12 volt battery that has a USB plug. Plug it in here, move it to 12, and start cranking. So it's kind of a neat little, uh, little uh, product. Um, I thought it was kind of cool because of the whole military hand crank, you know, kind of looked, looked like that generator. Um, it does not have an internal power bank. Um, you'll notice it's sitting on a power bank, actually. So there's no way to store power with this other than to crank up and recharge a power bank. Uh, it's also not very stealth. It's not something that you're going to get for stealth. Uh, I'm going to move it out of camera here just to crank it. Still got a little bit of noise. Not as loud as some of the smaller little tiny ones, but it's got a little bit of noise to it. So if you're going to be using this out in the field and you want to be as quiet as possible, you probably don't want to use that. So it's all medical, medical, uh, medical, all metal construction, <laughs> in, inside and out. I took off the top just to look at it, and I'm probably going to change out some of the um, labeling with my label maker, like I said. But I'm also probably going to take this off and repaint it a different color because I think the blue's kind of ugly <laughs> for that kind of a unit. Um, so it's definitely well made, you know. I mean, this thing came all the way from China, and I saw this hole on the end here, and I was like, uh oh. Well, what happened was, even though they have padding in there, this popped through in shipping. And it popped through not only the box, but the outside box this was in. And um, I was like, forget it. I bet you it's broken. It was fine. This does come off for transport. It's just a little uh, screw there and a little washer. It does come off for transport. If you're going to keep it permanently connected, I would suggest some blue Loctite. Because this does like to walk off. That little nut there likes to walk off after you've cranked for a while. Now, let's discuss the whole thing of cranking, okay? It is not um, an easy thing to do for hours on end. And if you're going to charge stuff, it's going to take a while to charge things. You might have, you might have to crank that for, you know, 5, 10 minutes just to get a, a 2 or 3% charge. 
It doesn't charge as fast as a wall unit, but it's not for that. It's for when there's no wall unit, there's no electricity, and you need an emergency power source. Now, where would you use this option? Well, you may live in an apartment, and uh, you may not have the ability to run a generator. You may not have the ability to have a solar panel set up outside. You may live somewhere where there's an HOA and they won't let you put solar panels up. So, while not as efficient as solar panels or a generator, it'll get the job done in an emergency. So I'm going to demo it. I'm going to tear it all apart and not tear this apart, but I'm going to tear everything out and demo it for you. And uh, we'll come back. I've got to move the camera back a little bit and we'll come back when that's One uh, thing I did forget to mention is the weight on this. It weighs about 9.5 ounces. It looks heavy. It's really not that bad. But I probably wouldn't stick it in a bug out bag because it's bulky. It's a big item. You know, my, I have big hands and that's pretty large. So the first thing I'm going to demo here is a cell phone. This is just a spare cell phone I keep out here for my drone. Um, I recently upgraded and I figured, huh, keep the old one and use it for the drone. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around. Now you notice how, I'm trying not to knock the phone over. You notice how I have it hanging over the edge here because this is going to need to spin around. That will light up when it starts charging. It's 100% already. I keep it on a charger in case I want to fly the drone. But we're going to go ahead and start it. There you go. Battery full, unplugged to save energy. But it is showing a charging symbol up in the battery, up in the corner there. So anyway, we know that works pretty well. We're going to try it out with a power pack now. Now, I don't know if you're going to be able to see the lights on this guy. The lights on this, this is a black web, uh, 20,000 milliamp battery bank. The lights are up here. You may not be able to see them too well, but let's try it. I see they just lit up and it's charging now. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I'm stretching to see. I don't know. You probably can. Anyway, this is a good way to store your energy that you're getting from this device. So it's a pretty decent uh, store of energy since this has none. This is simply a generator. It just simply makes power as you're turning. All right, and remember, like I said before, when you're charging with USB, always set it to 5, no matter what you're charging. If this cord needs to step up the voltage, you'll see it along here somewhere will have a voltage step up or something like that. You want to always be using 5 volts. And it won't charge fast like the USB-C cables. It'll charge like the regular rate. So if you have a phone that has a USB-C cable, it will charge at that regular nominal rate, and it might say, you could be charging this device faster. So, let's move on to the next application. And this is probably, again, a charger, a cool application for it. We're going to plug this in, and I'm going to try and put this up on an angle here. Oh heck, we'll put it like that. You guys can see that, right? First of all, what I'm going to do is turn it on, so you see that it will work. See? Immediately it starts charging and it resets it and it's ready to go. But, let's stick a battery in there. Here's an 18650. Put it in the middle. All right. And it's gonna go through its cycle of turning on. And there we go. I'm charging at half an amp. And resistance, you'll notice when it gets heavier, when it gets fuller, the battery fuller, you'll notice the resistance changes in this. You're gonna get a little bit of a pushback when you're doing it. Nothing that, you know, is unturnable, but you'll notice, hey, whoa, what's that, you know? It doesn't feel right. So, there you go. You can charge batteries with it. It's going to take some effort. It's going to take some time. But if there's absolutely nothing else available, that's going to be a lifesaver right there. So, let's move on to testing the other voltages. Now, would I advise you to sit around and charge a car battery with this? Of course not. <laughs> You'd be there for weeks. But... For what it is, it can do little tasks very, very well. So I'm just going to set my meter here to 12 volts. Uh, because that will pick up all of the lower ranges. And I hope that's visible on the camera. I may move the camera forward. Alright, so you can see now... Let me turn that off. It's not connected to anything, so I don't know why it's doing that. Um, let's connect the red to the red. And the black to the black. I probably should have done that when I turned it around, but we'll turn it around gently. And this can be solved with just, you know, keeping a block of wood under it so you can crank it. Move it around and begin turning. Whoops. There we go. 
4.98, pretty steady voltage, no real issues. Try to move this out a little bit. So you're getting a consistent 4.98 watts of uh, volts out of there. Uh, let's move it to let's move it to 12. All right, here we go. This requires a little more dexterity. <laughs> I, I find that if you keep a steady pace and you don't go fast, 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 slow, slow, fast, fast, slow, you'll keep it pretty steady. Now we'll move it up to 15. And it's going above, but it's, you know, again, it takes a little more effort. But like I said, you're not going to be charging a car battery with this. This is for charging stuff around your house. The biggest battery I'd probably charge with this would be one of those uh, gel cell batteries, you know, the smaller ones that they use in kids' uh, toys and stuff. But, um, let me stick that there. But that's about as big as I'd go with battery-wise, you know. I wouldn't try to jumpstart a car with it. I wouldn't try to, you know, charge a huge deep cycle battery or something with it. Um, however, if it's the only option you have, it's really not a bad, a bad deal. Um, so anyway, this is the 20 watt multifunction portable crank generator. Um, the only place I've seen these is on Banggood. So again, I'm going to put the link down in the description below. Uh, they are having a sale on them. They're 57% off right now. They are $29.99, so you figure around $30. Bucks. I believe it's free shipping. It did take a while to get here, but with most products from China, you know, I, I gave it, I think, two weeks. About two weeks, two and a half weeks. So it's really no big deal. They still got it to me, and it works really well. It's very well made. I was very surprised for, you know, an item that's not super expensive to be uh, pretty decently made. Um, would I take it and throw it out in the street and carry it and bang around? No, I wouldn't but it's decently made for what it is. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, pretty much we're predominantly preparing, prepping, product review, guns, ammo, knives type channel. So if that's what you're into, feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye.